color switcher, these two overlapping rectangles here, contain your foreground and background colors. A foreground color is always the one that will be used by the brush, pencil, or fill tools to apply to an image. To swap the foreground and background colors, right or control click on the rectangles and choose switch colors. I can switch back to my default colors, which are black and white, using a right click also. This brings us to the mask mode buttons. Using a mask is one more way to make selections. Let's go back to the rainbow by the waterfall. A few lessons ago, I selected the rainbow using the magic wand. This time I will select it using a mask. I'll click the red mask button and a red overlay fills my image. Switch to the black and white default colors on the color switcher and make sure white is the foreground color. I'll then choose the brush tool with a soft brush and begin painting over the rainbow. As I do, the red overlay is removed. Once finished, click the standard mode button to the left of the red quick mask button. The area that had the overlay removed from it becomes a selection. To adjust the selection further, click back into the quick mask mode. I took away a little too much of the overlay here, so to correct that I will switch my foreground color to black and paint that area back in. I can get very detailed with this by changing brush sizes and zooming in to make a more exact selection. The finished selection will be feathered as softly as the brush used to remove the overlay was, so no need to do a refine selection command on this one.